Hi, this is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. I'm going to show you how to create a portrait of a person using just the logo of a sports team. This is a great gift to give someone who is a huge fan. I'll call up my crop tool and for this image I'll choose a thousand pixels for the width, a thousand pixels for the height and the resolution is 150 pixels per inch. If your photo is significantly smaller you can modify the size of the width and height. Click down on a corner and drag to the opposite corner. To reposition it, click inside the grid and move it. To crop it tighter, click on a corner and drag in. When you're done, press enter or return. To fill the image on your screen, press control or command zero. Call up your logo file. The final portrait looks best if the image of the logo is in its simplest form. We need to desaturate the logo, so press Control Shift U or Command Shift U on a Mac. Then press Control Shift L or Command Shift L. It adjusts the darkest and lightest values into black and white. Go to Image and Image Size. I'm reducing the height and width to 25 pixels. The resolution isn't critical as long as the size of the logos in the pattern are large enough to recognize them but small enough to make out the person in the portrait. Press Control or Command Zero to make the logo larger on our screen. Go to Image and Canvas Size. Click on the upper left arrow and change the inches to pixels. Type in 50 pixels for the width and 50 for the height. Press Alt or Option as you click and drag the logo to the opposite corner. Now press Shift and Alt or Shift and Option as you click and drag this logo across. Press Control or Command I to invert it. Press Alt or Option as you click and drag this logo to the opposite corner. Click on the arrow icon in the upper right of the Layers panel and choose Flatten Image. Go to Edit and Define Pattern. Type in the name of your logo. Now open up your photo document and click the new layer icon. Go to Edit and Fill. Click on the arrow next to Custom Pattern and choose the thumbnail on the lower right. This is the last pattern you created. Our logo pattern fills the entire layer. We'll change the blend mode from normal to overlay. It has a bit too much contrast so we're going to reduce the opacity and mix it with another blend mode. We'll reduce the opacity to 50 percent and then make a composite snapshot of the entire image and place it on its own layer. Press Control Shift Alt E or Command Shift Option E on a Mac. Drag the logo pattern above the composite snapshot and change the blend mode to soft light. Using these techniques, have fun creating a portrait comprised of a pattern significant to that person. This is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. Thanks for watching.